Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So in here, we're going to look at preparation. So what exactly do we need to begin uh, our coding of this website? So the first thing you're going to need is a text editor. So just like this page here, this is a text editor. Now you can use any text editor. So there's uh, uh, no excuse. Some people use VS Code. I use Sublime Text, others use Notepad++. So any of those will work just fine. And even the one that comes with Windows is okay. You can use that Notepad, no problem. Okay, so once you get yourself, and to get Sublime Text, the one that I'm using, just uh, type Sublime, Sublime Text in Google, free download. So it's free to download the free version there's a free version but if you appreciate their work you can purchase what they have to offer so i really like this text editor but you can use any text editor of your choice okay so once you get that the next thing you need to get is zamp okay now we use zamp because we uh we want to create a server on our system uh, because we want to copy how the environment of the live server so when you put your website on the internet we want to copy that environment that it's going to be in but we want to bring it on our local machine so that we can create more or less in the same environment that way when we shift it to a live server uh, there's no problem right or we limit the amount of things we need to change so this is where you get zamp now, if you're on a Mac, uh, it's better you get MAMP and not ZAMP. So there's just an M here instead of an X. So MAMP for Macintosh. Or you can use WAMP for Windows. That's fine. I just prefer ZAMP because I've been using it, uh, this like forever. So get that and install it. So the installation process is pretty straightforward. Just click next, next, next to everything. Make sure you install the ZAMP inside your C or your drive C, ZAMP. That's where we're going to be locating things from. So that's all you need to mind. Otherwise, everything else stays the same. Just click next, next when installing. So here you get your either 64 or 32 bit, depending on what you want. So this ZAMP comes with a PHP. It's going to enable you to run PHP on your computer. And then it comes with MySQL, which is a database that we're going to be using. So that's why we, uh, we are installing ZAMP. And then it will also come with, um, what else does it come with? With Apache, which is the server that mimics the environment of the live server. So we are getting a server, a database, and a PHP in one package. So somebody just created the software to package those three softwares into one and then once you install this you're going to have all three of those things which is exactly what we need for our project so just install that and we'll be good good to go okay then finally what we need is we don't want to be creating too much html because the the, the point of this uh, exercise is to learn how to create dynamic websites so we don't want to spend too much time on the UI okay so what we're going to do is we're going to instead download a an existing template for the look of the website that way we don't have to waste time so to do this we're going to say free bootstrap templates that's what we want to look for I like bootstrap because it's a CSS library if you don't know what bootstrap is it enables you to create user interfaces rather quickly by just using classes that are already existing. So it's just a bunch of existing CSS classes that are put into one file and that's what we call Bootstrap. So Bootstrap is usually used to create some pretty nice uh, UIs. So we're going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to this website called Bootstrap Made. It's bootstrapmade.com and they do offer some free templates. Now, these templates can be bought for extra features, but we can limit ourselves to the free stuff. So the first thing we need is an admin section, of course, 
we're going to have to administer the website. So you can click here to see a demo of this thing. So if I click here, it comes to this and this is the demo. So while that is loading, because my internet is very slow, we'll look for the front face of our website. So this is going to be the back end of our website. That's the admin. So this template is called nice admin. And then we'll find another one called Zen blog, this one here. And pretty much you can choose any of these. It doesn't really matter. Any of these you can convert to anything you want really. So it's just, you just have to look for something that you like upfront so that you make as little modification as possible. So looking at what we are doing, I think this one suits us a bit better. So Zen blog. So meanwhile, this one has loaded. So this is how this looks like the nice admin. So it's got some nice uh, graphs here. So which means we don't need to create our own graphs from scratch, which is always a pain and very nice uh, admin dashboard, but it's got more than that. You know, we have tables, we have also a login page here. So we don't have to create our own login page from scratch. Usually the admin templates are the ones that come with the login and sign up page. So this is the register page here. Very good. And then very nice, we have a blank page as well. So if I click on blank, there we go, which will give us a nice clean slate to begin with, even though this is not really completely empty, but you get the idea. And then of course we get some very nice icons, bootstrap icons and some remix icons and some box icons there as well. So all these icons are available for use once you get this template, which is very nice. And then we go to the Zen blog template here. So this template we will have, uh, this is how our homepage will look like pretty much. So I like this because it's got um, sections here like culture, categories, business, and uh, lifestyle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we can add more of these uh, looking at this template, which is nice because then we can put our videos or our courses into categories like this. Okay, very nice. And it's got other pages, contact page. Let's see how that looks. Because usually on the contact page, you get a nice form like this one, which in case you don't have a, an admin template, you can use, redesign this to be your login page or sign up page, because this is where you see the inputs already designed and the buttons there. Okay, very good. Also, we have a single post here, single post view which in our case may be where we put our, uh, what's this? Our video description or course description and other information. But this will change quite a bit because looking at the website that we have. So this one, Zen blog, click on free download here and we'll go to the download page. And as you can see, you can actually buy this if you have the money to do so, please buy to appreciate other people's work. But of course, we'll click on the free download because why not? And this is what you get. You get uh, use for personal, use in personal and commercial projects. Okay, that's nice. Number of websites and domains, create website for clients. Uh, no. Okay, so you can read that and download. Same thing with this one, click on free download and get the free version so that we can all get along uh, just fine. Now, if in case you don't want to go through the hassle of downloading both of these, I have packaged them in a zip file, which I will put a link in the description to my website where you can click on the downloads page. You will find a single zip folder that will give you everything you need from uh, uh, actually the templates only because I don't want to package the other stuff like XAMPP because these things change over time. So if you're watching this a year later, you should get the latest version of ZAMP instead of one I might package. So it's better you just go to the actual website for these two and Sublime Text will be advanced by then. So better you get the latest version. But these templates will remain the same pretty much. So you can just uh, download from my website, but it's good to support these uh, websites that are creating these things. So better you go to their actual website. 
Okay, so now that we have that set up, this is cool. Let me see how, um, if we go to, I want to go to the page where I uh, downloaded these two templates. So these are the folders that I got. So there's nice admin and Zen blog. So, and then I, uh, I extracted them here. So once you extract like this, you get an index.html. So just double click on that to open in your browser. And there we go. So I have this now on my local browser, which is pretty cool. And let's go back. Let me see. I'm lost here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the other template is in blog. And let's open fewer files, HTML file as well. And there we go. Very cool. So now I have it on my local host categories about contact. Okay, everything seems fine. So we are pretty much ready to go at this point. So let's begin our coding. Let's roll up our sleeves and start typing. <laughs> 